Hey, it's Brent with the Downing Group, and this week we are going to go over our Columbia area market statistics for 2022. So welcome back to our channel. It's been a while since I've given you a market update in the Midlands areas, and so thought it would be a good time to just do a real quick recap on what's going on with the Columbia market since our last time, probably last time I did this was um, last uh, early last winter. So what is happening? Well, I can sum it all up with this sentence. Demand is high and supply is low. And uh, so in terms of specifics and all that, um, when I say um, demand is high, we have, um, we have more buyers than ever coming to South Carolina from other states um, to live here because it's a great place to live and, and people are tired of the high taxes and, and the, the weather up north and all that. And so anyway, it's, um, it's a great alternative for folks. So we have right now a 0.8 months supply of inventory in uh, the greater Midlands area. And what does that mean? Well, think of it this way. If a thousand people buy houses every month in Columbia, and it's roughly... You know, actually, it's um, right around that number. There's only 800 homes for sale at any given time if it's 0.8 months, 800 divided by 1,000. So economists say a balanced inventory is more like six months supply. So that in that same scenario, that would mean there would be 6,000 homes for sale where buyers have a lot more to choose from. But right now, it's just not that, been that way, and it hasn't been for couple years at least. In fact, six months supply probably dates all the way back to three or four years ago. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that said, best time ever to sell. And, you know, it just keeps being that way. It, every month, prices keep going up. Last year uh, versus this year, prices are up 14%. And, you know, it, it, that's just been a steady incline um, in the Columbia area over the last few years. Days on market is down to 28 days. What that means is, you know, from the time a, a listing or a property goes live on MLS that's for sale to the general public, um, it takes 28 days to get a, uh, an accepted contract on that. Last year, this time, that number was more like, um, let me see, 36 days, I think. So again, things are just flying off the market. Hopefully, if you're out there looking to buy, um, it's still... It's a good time to buy. You just have to have a good agent that's, you know, on top of their game that knows what's going on and is willing to work and be responsive. But um, interest rates have gone up in the last four or five months. Um, I think they're probably north of 4%, which still is not bad. I mean, um, of course, you know, back in the late 70s, um, for those of you who are watching that were around then, um, you remember the interest rates were in the teens, high teens. And um, even, you know, I remember five, six years ago when I thought a five or six percent interest rate was great. Are they expected to go up? Probably so um, with these, the whole inflation thing. Anyway, so that's a quick recap. Again, just to summarize, um, more people than ever moving to South Carolina, moving to our area. Um, there's less homes available than there ever have been. Great time to sell. Not a bad time to buy if you have the right agent. And, um, you know, so if we can help you at all with your real estate needs, please give us a call. We've got some great agents on our team that work hard and are very responsive and know what the heck they're doing. So have a great week and uh, we'll talk to you soon.